Good morning, my friend. I am live in Costa Mesa, California, and this is your Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today and the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Wateki. I am your host and sensei to serious joy, here to stand in my heart and walk in the light and hopefully help you walk on yours today. This show is dedicated to Monday, June 15th, 2015, and it's all centered around today's Step 24 Gemini rules the day. But before we get started, I'm going to describe a change in my show, and this change comes from really doing this for about 10 years. I'm approaching my 10th year now on camera, on YouTube, helping people, and I realized here in this last retrograde that I've been trying to be everything to everyone. And I want to be everything to everyone, (laughs) don't you? You know what I mean? Like, that's a genuine, I think, heartfelt desire. But I think it's cost me a lot more time and energy to try to explain and be there for everyone all the time. So what I decided was a way of reorganizing my show, and perhaps this might be kind of the way the Age of Aquarius will go. It's not that anything is going to change. It's the way we organize it. So now my show is going to come in three simple acts. The first act will always be this greeting where I say hello and I'll tell you the step of the day. And the first act will include something new called the personal sensei. And the personal sensei will say nothing about astrology. It will say nothing about numerology. Of course, that's where all my wisdom comes from. But the personal sensei will be just very personal about what it's like to be a human on earth today. And that is designed for grasshoppers, people who are just entering in, people that you might introduce uh, me to, and it's not going to have any of the major lingo or mumbo-jumbo in it. It's just very simple. In that sense, too, it's designed for anyone, wherever and what level you're at. It's designed to give you a simple kindergarten look at the day so you can keep it simple yourself all day, too. And I even need that for myself, so I'm helping myself here on camera. So Act 1 will always be your personal sensei and your good morning. Act 2 is going to be the cosmic clock and the cosmic clock is going to be designed for people who are proficient or want to learn it's going to move fast now it's not going to explain everything all the time but it's going to give you the deep astrological and numerology uh, sort of settings and you'll get to know you know if you want to watch then watch I encourage all those who want to light walk so act one is for the grasshoppers act two is for the light walkers Act 3 is for everyone. That's where the Zodiac weather will be. That's where you will get the answers to today's telepathy. And that is where, of course, you'll get your rock and roll gospel. So if you're brand new to my show, you might watch Act 1 and Act 3. If you are a seasoned veteran or if you are a leader, uh, then you might want to watch Act 2. And I'm also going to give information in Act 2 about helping you to lead your people, helping you to be a leader for the people that watch you and people that... Uh, you serve on on Earth because I've noticed in most of my demographics, a large percentage of my viewers are teachers, educators, uh, the same word, Chris, uh, light walkers, healers, massage therapists, like people that help people. So uh, Act 2 will be focused on uh, just that. So thank you for your patience today in that whole explanation. As I began the day, you won't get that explanation every day, but we're going to roll on now to the next piece here in Act 1, and that is today's Personal Sensei. Hello, friend, and namaste. This is your Personal Sensei for Monday, June 15, 2015. So right now, the human race is working on their minds and their attitudes. This is the month of thinking differently about things. You might be thinking differently about certain things in your life. That could be relationships. It could be contracts. What's behind it in the background is what we think about. And over the weekend, everyone was led to perhaps new thinking. Maybe new doors opened up, new information. Maybe you heard from someone you haven't heard from in a long time. Maybe you allowed yourself to go there, all right? And that's super important. For those who did have breakthrough over the weekend, for those who did go there, my advice to you as sensei is to keep thinking that direction. If you've liberated your mind from some sort of small-minded thinking, 
keep thinking today is what the astrology says. In fact, keep thinking, connect to it, and make it flow. You want to find where your natural flow is. So if you suddenly realized over the weekend, you don't belong working in this job anymore, now your mind is thinking about getting a new one, I'm saying let it flow. Let it flow. Keep thinking this way. Now if you're sitting at home in agony with not knowing what to do, then I think you're probably letting your mind rule your world. And the only thing that's going to let you out of your mind is your heart. Your heart will tell you you're not happy here, no matter what you think. So it's like you might be in a job and you're like, I don't care if it's good for me. I don't care if it has benefits. My heart doesn't like it. So you might be still in the battle between your mind and your heart. And this is the battle going on for all humans everywhere. Somewhere in their life, somewhere in any part of their life, there is a battle going on. Their heart wants one thing, and their mind is telling them something else. And you have to ask yourself, well, who's the boss? Well, I'll tell you in the cosmology of the universe, the boss is very clear. The heart. In our solar system, the heart is represented by the sun. The mind is represented by that little, tiny Mercury. Now, although Mercury is really close to the sun, and it thinks it can control that big fire itself, <laughs> it really, as we know, one supernova and Mercury is gone, right? So, in ourself, I just mean the nature of cosmology, the heart is meant to be a hundred million times the size of everything in our solar system, everything in our soul's system. And so if you're having or feeling trapped today or unhappy, uh, the cosmology would suggest that your mind is uh, controlling everything and it needs to be told who's boss, your heart. All right. So today it's about stepping out of our old thinking. It's about letting our heart be our guide. It's about acknowledging that we are grasshoppers when it comes to our thoughts. Because unless you're the super most happiest, serious joy guy on earth, which even I am not, then your mind obviously doesn't know everything. Because if it did, such a smart ass that it is, it would do it. Right? That's, this is the argument I have with myself in the mirror, by the way. In fact, that's all my show is, <laughs> is a fight with myself in the mirror. <laughs> you thought it was a show. It's just my crazy imagination. So today, we want to step out. We want to go ahead and be crazy. Just to go ahead and use my own craziness as some medicine here. Because when you let your heart rule, you've seen it in movies so many times. They're like, are we crazy? It's like, no, you're not crazy. You're letting your heart rule your life. Like in society or whatever, we've been told it's crazy. And you're going to find that that's a lot of your struggle today. In the cosmology, it shows that the human race is having a struggle between their mind wants to go somewhere, but there's a lot of rules saying they can't. There's a lot of rules saying it's not supposed to happen. There's a lot of rules uh, saying that you can't handle it if you went there, but you didn't actually investigate to see if you can handle it. You know, you didn't actually look into it. So, again, this is all the mind playing smoke screens on ourselves, all playing games with ourselves. All these excuses and reasons and blah, 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 to not give us what our heart wants right now. Now, I'll share one more little piece of advice I've learned uh, as a sensei to Serious Joy now for a while, helping people in their hearts for a long time, is the solution is never tomorrow. It's today. You don't settle for, well, tomorrow my heart will be happy. No, never, never, no, not good enough. But he's married. That means no. <laughs> that means he's not available today. But I can't get the job for it. Well, then that means the, that's not what your heart can have today. Like, So if it's not available right now, if your current heart can't have it right now, it's not where you're supposed to be. Your heart, if you're on the right path for you, will be incredibly delighted with whatever it has. So your heart might want to be president, and get elected as governor and be totally delighted because that's a great step. And so that's within reason. The heart's totally delighted. The heart wants even more. That's okay. But you're totally delighted with the step. If you're not totally delighted with the step you're taking, if your mind and what your mind is saying to you doesn't delight you, if you're not excited and can't stay calm with delight, then you ain't in delight, my brother or sister. Your mind is taking you into some little imaginary corner that you have logically painted yourself in. 
And so today, as we count down to what we call the new moon, today is the last step because it's like now boarding for track number blah, 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 and that's what it is. I mean, our attitude is like a railroad train. So it's like, okay, are you going to stay on this train that you're happily married when you're not? And you never make love and the two of you don't talk? I'm not trying to ruin marriages out there. I'm trying to empower hearts so everyone is smiling like a Japanese tourist. I'm not trying to be racist either. I just find that Japanese people do smile more. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what the statistic seems to be. And I believe the whole world should be smiling. I think we should all be enjoying. And so if you're not in your heart today, you want to ask your mind, why? What rules is it following? Who is it trying to please other than you? What are you trying to do? And most importantly, where a lot of light workers get confused, and grasshoppers too, is that they tell themselves, well, tomorrow our heart can have it. Nope. By the nature of reality, it's supposed to work right now. Which means if you meet someone and it's the right person, it works right now. Which means if you're in the right job, it works right now. How do you know it works right now? Because you are delighted. Your heart is in delight when you think about it. All right? So today, my friend, your joy quest, should you choose to accept it, is to think what you believe. Don't let your mind go off anything you believe. You believe you can be a rock star? Think that way. You believe this? Think that way. It will lead you to where you belong. And for your phrase of the day... And just say it as you go out the door. This will help you stay focused. I feel myself today. I know myself today. Therefore, I think. So today, if you say, I think I'm going to marry him. It's like, all right, before you say that, say this. <laughs> before you say you're going to marry him, say this. I feel myself. I know myself. I'm going to marry him. And you, it will all resonate. It will all go together. And that is your phrase today. So one more time to keep it in mind before I send you out the door for Act 2 or Act 3. I feel myself today, and I know myself. Therefore, I think... So for those sticking around for Act 3, today's telepathy, I am thinking from my temple to yours, one of these three Gemini men... And these Gemini men are all kind of heavies. They've all sort of been figures of advice on screen. So they're Gemini men that have weighty words of advice. That's my alliteration way to put it. Which Gemini man, male actor, am I thinking of? Is it number one, Russell Brand? Number two, Liam Nielsen? Or number three, Morgan Freeman? I'll have the answer to which of these Gemini men I am thinking of in the beginning of Act 3 with your Zodiac weather, but keep streaming for right now for Act 2 for the Masters and the learning with the Cosmic Clock. And here we are with the Cosmic Clock and Act 2 of Namaste Today. Welcome, Lightwalker. So good to see you, and I so good to see you brave to tackle the difficult information. Well, maybe it's not difficult, but, you know, for those who are wishing to learn, just so you know, I do repeat, I do teach, but we're at a stage now where it's time to kind of separate our peas and carrots on our plate and focus on those who are serious. So today you'll find that in the new Cosmic Clock, I'll be talking about not just what's going on in your life, but giving you the breakdowns, the astrological citations, and giving you advice from what I have learned in 10 years and more of uh, life coaching people using astrology as my tool and timing. All right. So moving on, it is Monday, June 15, 2015. We got some 15s going on. I think I'll start the day talking about the Sun and Mars. The Sun, of course, has conjunct Mars, so the two planets are working together. They're both at step 24. This means that our I love, which is the Sun energy at step 24, and our I am, which is the Mars energy at step 24, are working in harmony, which means our mind is programming our ego as we take each step. And this works both ways. So if you're stuck in your mind, by taking action, you can change your mind. If you're stuck in a certain action, by taking, changing your frame of mind, you can change your actions. If you are a person that life coaches and helps people for a living, this is an opportune moment with your clients to have breakthrough. Because if you can get them to change their behavior or their mind at this time, in the next 8 to 10 days, you'll see breakthrough. 
from my experience. So this is very timely. And those watched over in the Sensei Network, that's what we're focusing on, or I'm focusing on in my programming. So today, um, we are working in this dynamic powerhouse of the Sun and Mars coming together at step 24. And of course, the ruling states of awareness, or the, the key states, are I feel with two, and I belong with four. It's that I belong with four that has the quantum ability. See, we have likely been not belonging in the right categories in our mind. So I always put myself with the poor folk. I always put myself with the people that were going to be this way, you know, or I was putting myself, you know, with the always being taken advantage as a woman, you know, like all people all have like their, their mindset. They subscribe to these mindsets where they feel like they belong as a victim or this or that, or the racist or whatever it is, they, you know, and then suddenly it's like, you know, I don't know anymore. And what that I don't know anymore is, is the four, that four is the belonging. Belonging is actually a very is a quantum extension of the heart. The heart is I love one. So four is like quantum, like I love, let's get the hell out of here. Four, right? So we're getting the hell out of Dodge. If we haven't already, you know, sometimes this is just uh, consciousness catching up with us. But today that combination is strong, and these two continue kind of playing together for a few more days, you'll see. Now the second thing I want to talk about is the moon. The moon is, of course, in Gemini. We're on countdown to Lycast Day. That's the new moon. When the moon and sun come together, that's the universe forcing our emotions and our heart to beat as one. When the universe forces the heart and, and emotions to beat as one, we create reality. So the universe forces us to do that once every month. Then you may be laying in bed sick. I mean, whatever you're doing at that point, you are clapping your hands louder in the earth matrix than you normally are. So we're about to clap our hands louder. And so our emotions right now are reflecting our thoughts very powerfully. So this is where you can think yourself into a depression. This is when your client can think themselves into depression. This is when a client dis 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 defines and decides for, for a change that they can think their way out of a problem. Don't know what's resisting in there, but I'm going to let it out. <laughs> And of course, Mercury is at step five, which is interesting. So Mercury is at step five. Step five is the natural born grand step of Gemini. So step five, so is the mind, which is step five, at step five, in the sign of step five, 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 five. So what happens is when you have those, those fives line up, you know, um, you have pure programming of the signal, pure programming of the channel. So the client, you, are, will program purely when the fives line up. So we're, we're programming purely. And we're actually programming today. Lightcast is tomorrow or in the middle of the night. So as we sleep through the night and the moon crosses the, uh, you know, the sun, uh, we'll have papau. Actually, it happens in the day, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does happen in the day. I was just calculating from the night to see when it started. Sorry, note to self, speaking out loud. So Saturn. Saturn is actually the third thing I want to talk about. And Saturn is basically anchoring all this energy on the other side. And what Saturn is doing is basically, well, if you want to do all this in our mind, then Saturn is like anchoring all this power, right? And what is Saturn? Saturn is where we're currently deciding. Now, Saturn has creeped across the border into step 29. That means that as we recalculate that our mind belongs somewhere else, like I don't belong as the victim anymore. I don't belong as the poor one anymore. I don't belong as this. I don't belong as that. So as the sun is saying, I don't belong in these things, uh, it is Saturn that goes, well, okay, let's cut those lines, Saturn and Scorpio. So Saturn is there in Scorpio to cut cut lines, to restructure emotional boundaries. These are these can be complex ne renegotiations. These can be remortgaging your, your loans. You know, it's deciding that you're not comfortable or you are comfortable or you want to do this or you want to restructure. So what so ultimately what this says from a consciousness perspective is that you and the client's boundaries and where they draw the line is what balances their ability to do all this. They've got to be clear on where their limits are before they go into changing that they no longer belong as this or they no longer belong as that. You also have to be very decisive about what you are and what you are not anymore. And also open. I mean, Saturn just now retrograding in the space says, hey, let's reconsider this. Maybe we were wrong. You know, because now that we've healed, maybe we were wrong. Maybe I was wrong about that. You know, I just want happiness. I just want serious joy. So I'm okay being wrong if it means I'll be more happy, right? And that's the Taurus speaking out loud here. Are you talking to yourself here, Chris? Is anyone watching? So let's move on now to Jupiter. Jupiter and Venus is a, is a much bigger uh, thing than we realize. These two are on approach. Jupiter reaches Venus. By the way, this is Venus at step, uh, step 9 today. Jupiter is at step 18. And uh, with these two... 
the thing about it is it's time to go for it. Step nine is action. Step 18 adds to action. One plus eight makes nine. So it's nine. That means go for it. That's go for what our heart wants. Now, remember, in the world of creation, going for it starts in the heart. That means you let yourself dream like it's actually going to happen. You let yourself go forward with like, this is really going to happen. This is really going to happen. You let yourself go ahead and believe it. And that's what part of today is about. And get that fire sort of going. And so today it is going. And when Venus reaches Jupiter, that is the star of Bethlehem. When these two come together in the sky, these are the two brightest objects in the sky with the naked eye. This is, these are two-thirds of the star of Bethlehem. There was a third, which was a star, Regulus, which is in the Leo constellation. All right? We'll talk more about that in the future. But what this is, is you're wishing upon that star now. You're wishing upon that star of Bethlehem now. And honestly, when the two come together, the, the child will be born. In this case, the child is what your heart is desiring. Cool stuff, eh? Now, the fifth thing is Neptune. Neptune is retrograde. I don't know if you guys watched Friday's show where my sound went out. It's right when I started talking about Neptune retrograde. I was like, what, is God interfering with this? Like, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, I got it. It was way late. The sun went down. I was, you know, in my hotel ready to edit. And I was like, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Right? You know? So Neptune is retrograde, which means we must connect to God on our own. We must log in to our higher self on our own. We must do the meditation on our own. Um, and so, you know, this, this means taking the time to meditate, time and space to meditate, uh, checking in with the guys before you jump because they will not shoot a flare in front of you and they will not change the commercial, uh, to be your song right now. It's just the way it works in Neptune's retrograde. And then the last point I want to bring up is Black Lilith. Black Lilith today is at step 22 Virgo. Black Lilith represents where our shadow energy you know, can end up leaving. We're afraid we'll recreate that reality. So we're all afraid at step 22 that our emotions will take us to a crazy reality, step 22. So with you and your clients, everyone's worried that if they say yes to their heart, it'll go to bonkers step 22. And the trick of that for yourself and for the people you guide is to give them better skills at being able to emotionally ground themselves, to give them the skill set to um, emotionally nurture themselves so that they can stay calm in any situation. These are fundamentals that they need to handle that 22. So thank you for watching the Act 2s for the Lightwalkers in training. And let's move on now to Act 3, where we'll have today's telepathy and your zodiac weather after this. Introducing Secrets of Birthdays. Bow chicka bow wow. Are you ready to find love? Bow chicka bow wow. Your secrets are coming out. Bow chicka bow wow. All those sexy secrets are available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Bow chicka bow wow, baby. And welcome back to Namaste Today, Act 3. And for the answer to today's telepathy, I was asking for one of these three interesting Gemini men. Which one was I thinking of? Was it number one, Russell Brand? Number two, Liam Nielsen, or number three, Morgan Freeman, one of these three Gemini wise guys. Which was it? And the answer was Russell Brand. Why? Well, because I think Russell Brand is fascinating, to be honest with you. If you've ever seen this guy kind of rant on, first of all, he's an addict that is reformed and recovered, so he has an interesting kind of uh, from-the-ground-up perspective of life. He's very funny. He's very, uh, seems courteous, and I think because he's British, he gets away with everything in America, so I think he's doing interesting. Of course, Liam Nielsen is the new Obi-Wan, and of course, Morgan Freeman has been the wise guy since Sesame Street, but I thought Russell Brand is the one to keep the Gemini eye on, so to speak. So moving on to today's rock and roll gospel. We are looking at Gemini musicians, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. These Gemini musicians are poets, and they know it. And today, indeed, you will agree without any doubt that this musician is indeed a poet. I am speaking to the Honorable Lenny Kravitz, of course. And uh, his music is iconic. That's the best way. He does get in the brain. You know why? He's a step five. That's a grandmaster Gemini. So this guy literally understands word, delivery, the whole communication net. And I think he uses it well with his music. So today, kind of celebrating us launching off, and we have the new moon tomorrow, I thought the best song would be Fly Away. Right? You've heard this before. Listen to it again. It'll be playing in the playlist following Namaste Today. But before you fly away with Lenny Kravitz, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters today and your special soul vitamin. And today's soul vitamin is sponsored by Jupiter Trining Uranus. So today I'm going to help you with what to believe in. What to believe in out of all of your life. What do you anchor on to? What do you hold on to? What can you believe in if so much is changing? 
and I'll give you that formula for all 12 zodiac signs in the order of the 11 steps of serious joy, starting with the secret step, the Scorpios, step zero. Scorpios, partly cloudy and private today, but here is what I think you should believe in. Believe in a new lifestyle, a new way of living in the moment, and everything else will orbit around that. Step one, the Leo's sunny and social today is the way you feel. But you know what, Leo? It's time to believe in what you do know. So use what you know and the knowledge you have gained as your anchor. Step two, the Cancer's cloudy and spiritual today. But it's time to believe in the decisions you have already made. And that may sound kind of obvious, but you don't understand cancers. They feel and feel and process the decision and go over the decision. Decisions don't come lightly for cancers, okay? So they decide and they hold on to that decision and you should let that be your strength. Step three, the Sagittarius is sunny and sentimental today, I think, in your heart. And that's a good thing because you need to believe in the fact that your heart is gold. And that's true. Never met a Sag I didn't like. Even if I can't speak the language of the Sag, I'm like, you're a Sag? Oh, I love you. And they're all like, okay. You know what I mean? Sages are amazing. I love them everywhere. Your heart is gold, all right? What that means is if your heart is into something, it is not leading you down a bad path. So even if it's a little temptatious, I guess it's supposed to be. Step four, the Aquarians. Sunny and childlike today. But it is time, I think, my friend, for you to believe in your genius approach. All right, so you have a genius approach to the problem. Now, mind you, I said approach, not every final solution down to the last T. You know that, though. I don't have to tell you. Step five, the Geminis. Sunny and super cool, the moon now on their sign. But it's now time for you to believe in your social place. So Geminis, because they analyze everything, they know where they belong. Believe in that. Build from there. Step six, the Librans. Cloudy but passionate today. It's time now to believe in your partnering skills. So if your whole life is changing, there's one thing you're good at, partnering. Believe in that. Let that be your rock. Step seven, the Pisces. Cloudy, nesting, and resting today on this Monday. But it's now time for you to believe in your spiritual worth. So you know how valuable you are. You know if it wasn't you there, people would die. All right? You may not get the pat on the back, but you know your spiritual worth. And if you believe this much in God, you'll know that it's going to work out for you. So let that be your rock, that you are spiritually priceless. Step eight, the Capricorns. Cloudy and hyper aware today, but it's now time to believe in what your feelings do know. All right, so this is like the cancer thing. When a Capricorn has a feeling about something, because you're usually a cold robot, no offense, (laughs) if you have a feeling about it, that's gold. Step nine, the Aries. Cloudy and rather pensive and in their heads today, but it's now time to believe in your ability to act, okay? So that means you are so good at taking action that if you take the wrong action, you can untake it. You know, you, out of anyone, won't sit there paralyzed like a deer in headlights. Believe in your ability to act, and that is your safeguard. Step 10, the the (laughs) Tauruses. That's me, I'm fumbling it. Sunny and light casting today. This is hitting us in our home house here. But it's now time for you to believe in your sixth sense. All right, so Tauruses, you need to believe that you, your sense about things, your a priori knowledge is, in fact, what is your rock, and only you have that kind of deal going on with the universe, and you got to gamble on that. That's why we have Aries in the 12th, as they say. And then step 11, the Virgos, sunny and professional today on Countdown to Light Cast Day. But it's now time for you to believe in your anal retentive limits. <laughs> and I mean that with the greatest respect. You know, I'll tell you, you're not going to do anything too stupid because you're so anal and retentive about opening up that safe, three left, four right on a Tuesday if it's cloudy and da 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 that nothing is going to go wrong by accident, okay? (laughs) I just want to be the one to tell you. All right, so that is, of course, the Virgos. And that is ready for us to wrap this up. Well, that about wraps up our Namaste Today. Hey, following the show in our playlist, which is available at namastetoday.com, 
Tv or on YouTube in the Namaste Today Parade, you'll see our music videos, our music gospel videos. Right now, Lenny Kravitz is following, and the music videos I subscribed last week to or prescribed last week to for your rock and roll gospel. So if you want to just keep streaming, you can and kind of listen to the good vibrations. Also, if you're watched over by the Personal Sensei Network, at the 9 a.m. hour, I'm going to talk about what you need to believe in in yourself. And at the 3 p.m. hour, I'll talk about where you need to believe in your outer world. For people interested in your own personal sensei tests that guide you through the day, come on down to SeriousJoy.me. And also, don't forget right now, if you'd like to be a part of my commercial series for video readings, you can get a video reading right now for just $99. Don't worry, you're not signing your life away. And there is a video down there that explains on the website just what I mean by this. Come on down to SoulMart.me. And be sure to check out the Modern Mommies if you are a mother a single mother or a mother that needs support. This is what the ladies are here for. It's modernmommies.me. Now have a great day out there, folks. I so appreciate you. Thank you very much. The highest gratitude you can always give is to share me with your friends and your family that you trust. So thank you in advance. I'd recommend sharing the first act if you do. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember, think what you believe today and live, love, be.